Let's talk a bit about the way big data is shaping the future of how we will live, work, and play. My name is Tom Kolopoulos, and I've been studying the effects of big data on our businesses and our lives for more than three decades. In my latest book, Cloud Surfing, I predicted some of the headlines in today's news about the way government and large companies such as Google are using big data to eavesdrop on the most intimate aspects of our lives. So what is big data? Well, it's not just about the explosion of data. It's about the explosion of connections. Connections that by the year 2020 will account for perhaps over 1 trillion interconnected devices. Sensors and software that will monitor our every movement and behavior. So we hear a lot about the downside of big data, but is there an upside? Well, let me ask you a different question. Do you believe that everything that can be invented has been invented? Of course not. But what if I told you that by ignoring the upside of big data, we actually behave as though that statement was true? Tough to believe, right? Well, here's an interesting fact. When the Motorola Brick, the first true portable cell phone, was introduced in the 1980s, pundits believed at the time that by 2001, there'd be a whopping 100,000 cell phones in use. Today, there are over 5 billion cell phones in service globally. So why are we so bad at predicting the future? It's not because we don't get technology. We're surrounded by examples of how fast we can deploy new technology and bring it to market. The problem is that we often ignore how fast and how dramatically behavior also changes. We're surrounded by new technologies, many of them useless. USB-powered toasters that create monogram toast or wristbands that allow you to attach your cell phone to your arm for instant access, no more fumbling through your pockets or purse. Look, none of this is innovation. Why? Because innovation is not just about technology. It's mostly about value. You see, when we create value, we change behavior. And changing behavior is where the really big innovations come from. In fact, the future isn't about the tired old notion of stepping out of the box. It's about building entirely new boxes. Yet we always use the current box to define what is acceptable and rational behavior. And that seriously constrains what we think is possible. Building a new box means looking well outside of our current frame of reference and constraints. So what does this have to do with big data? Well, let me tell you a quick story about my son, Adam. Like most parents, I struggle with the amount of time he spends on his computer. He's always connected, always on. During one of his recent marathon online gaming sessions, I reached my wit's end and told him to go outside and play with his friends in the cul-de-sac. No luck. He was glued to the screen. In a moment of very poor parenting, I finally said to him, Adam, just get off the computer and please go watch some TV. His response, Dad, you just don't get it. This is my cul-de-sac, he said, pointing at the computer. This is where my friends are. In Adam's box, he's connected constantly and completely transparent. And there's good reason for that. You see, Adam's box is a world of constant uncertainty. All of the events that tire and frustrate us, from economic uncertainty to terrorism, to the aberrant behaviors being brought on by big data, these can only be dealt with through a hugely collaborative network of the sort that Adam's generation is creating. But most of us still don't get this notion of uncertainty. Uncertainty is what happens when all the rules that we play with are suddenly changed. If you want to experience true uncertainty, play chess with a three-year-old. The king can leave the board, go to another room, and not come back until you give up. Uncertainty is the absence of rules. That kind of complexity turns so much of our current behavior on its head. The role of big data in this world is to help us deal with uncertainty and yet still create value. That's why Google is tapping into our email and the NSA is listening to our conversations. In the game of uncertainty, the person or the organization that has the biggest number of connections to us and between us wins. I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's incredibly disruptive to my way of life. Yes, it is, if you stay inside of your box. But this architecture of disruption is the new world order that we already inhabit. And in this new world, big data knows more about you than you know or are willing to admit that you know about yourself. It's a revolution of incredible scale because ultimately big data will change nearly every aspect of how we behave, from how we think about our personal privacy to our beliefs in the protection of intellectual property. It's easy now to see the downside that this change can have. That's always the case with every revolution. But big data will also create entirely new forms of innovation. We'll move from what I call first derivative innovation, which focuses on the device and the technology. For example, the first iPod. To second order innovation, which looks at combining devices with data. Think of iPod and iTunes coupled. And then third order innovation, which adds the notion of experience. That's really what Facebook, Google, Apple, Walmart, and every other collector of big data wants to know. 
How can they create an experience that is uniquely suited to you based on your specific behaviors? And finally, we'll move into fourth derivative innovation, where big data is so prevalent that the innovation happens without us even asking for it. After all, if I know your behavior, I don't need to test a product or a service. I don't need a focus group. I know before I release it that it's right for you, even before you do. All of these patterns of innovation exist inside of big data. They're waiting to be discovered, and they mitigate the huge weight of uncertainty that now threatens to crumble the box we have been living in. You can try to fight it, and you will, but you will also be seduced by it. You will get value that you had never imagined, and for it, you'll likely give up more and more of your behavior and your privacy. Big data today is just the tip of an enormous iceberg of change that will redefine every notion of how we work, live, and play. So. Are you still trying to predict the future or maneuver around it? Better advice might be to learn how to navigate this ice field and just survive it. One thing is certain, because of big data, our behaviors will change in ways that even the smartest of us can barely begin to predict.